watching Cox Connections only on Cox 11. From helping keep personal information safe to promoting education in the cybersecurity field, the Commonwealth of Virginia is on the forefront of implementing the effective use of information technology. Here to talk with us about how our state also advances technology to improve public services and drive the economy is Karen R. Jackson, Secretary of Technology for the Commonwealth of Virginia. Secretary Jackson, thank you for being here thank today. Thank you for having me. So, it's hard to believe, but it's almost five weeks till Christmas, holiday shopping time. Yeah. What can you tell our viewers that they should be doing in order to keep their personal information safe during this season? There's so much activity around the holiday season. Um, an online shopper, I'm a big online shopper as well, so I'm, I'm right in the midst of that. Um, but it is a time where we're all going to be getting a lot of offers that come in through our email, um, some of which are going to be really going to be too good to be true. And so the first thing I would say is as you're going through your emails, as you're looking for that great buy, really take a hard look at those emails. If it's not from a retailer that you trust and you've shopped with before, or if it's not from somebody that you know, probably not a good idea to click on it. Um, malware comes through what we call phishing attacks, and, and those are pretty common. So first of all, just be aware of what you're clicking on when you're in your email box. Um, passwords. Passwords are a big area of vulnerability. Make sure they're strong. Change them often um, and really don't put them on a sticky note next to your computer somewhere on your screen. Don't share them with your best friend or your kids or spouse probably is not a good idea either. Um, but really just use you basic common sense about protecting it. Chip and pin is another topic that we've heard a lot about where you see the little mm -hmm. chip that's in your card. If you have a credit card, make sure you have a chip card. It's just a little bit safer, um, gives you a little bit added pr protection and gives you some liability um, insurance as well. So just make sure that your cards have the latest technology and make sure you're just using good cyber hygiene when you're, when you're shopping online. Great tips. Two Virginia Community Colleges recently made technology news, switching gears a little bit. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that? Sure, Northern Virginia Community College and Lord Fairfax Community College, um, both were named centers of excellence um, in cybersecurity training. And it's a, it's a big exciting time for us because we want our graduates to come out with the most recent, most current credentials that they can possibly have as they enter the workforce. We also have some four-year universities that are, that are centers of excellence as well, whether it's in teaching, whether it's in research or forensics. And we really want to build that, our workforce here in the Commonwealth to be the nation's leading place where companies want to come, they want to start, they want to grow because we have a, a substantial workforce and a credentialed workforce. So by adding these centers of excellence, and we hope to add more over the next few months, it gives us an added benefit for our students and also avails them to some scholarship opportunities and other programs at the federal level that a non-center of excellence can't afford them. So it's exciting for the students and their opportunities, but it's also exciting for the Commonwealth as we strive to build a, a bigger and broader workforce in the cyberspace. And um, it makes us an attractive place for businesses to locate here. Absolutely. We have Mach 37, which is actually a cyber accelerator in Northern Virginia where we create new cyber companies. All those companies are going to need employees. And so we know where the workforce goes, the jobs will, will follow. And so we want to have the top workforce in the nation. Let's talk a little bit about drones and other unmanned systems. They're getting a lot of attention in the news media now. Mm -hmm. What jobs will drones begin doing, he begin doing here in the Commonwealth? Oh, we're very excited. We're, the, we're one of the six FAA test sites for unmanned systems, which are the aerial systems. Virginia Tech is leading that initiative for us. So right now, all of the activities are governed by the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. So right now, we're looking at doing package delivery. Um, we were the, the site of the nation's first research and development-based package delivery out in Southwest Virginia. So we're looking at package delivery. We're looking at um, search and rescue, even media use. We've done some training at Virginia Tech for the media and the use of UAVs. Here in Hampton Roads, the maritime side of the house is very important. We have a large presence here. Port security, water quality assessments. Really, we want to be using UAVs in places where, of all modalities, let me back up, it's and layer, land, air, and sea, um, in places where it's hard for humans to go, and it allows us to get a better view of what the situational analysis is on the ground or in the air. 
um, in ways that we've never been able to do before. So from the R&D standpoint, they're very important to us, but also from, from a pragmatic use standpoint, we have a lot of areas for companies to test power line evaluation, utility pole inspections, all those things can be done in cooperation and in, in sync with drones. It's not going to replace the good human that interprets the data. You always have to have that piece, but you really need the eye in the sky. And if we can do that with new technologies that are safer, um, that's absolutely what we should be doing. And drones and, and all the modalities of unmanned systems are right at the heart of that. So, um, and of course, not all of that is aspirational and forward thinking. I mean, you've got some things that are taking place right now mm -hmm. uh, that Hampton Roads residents would be interested in, like storm tracking through the use of drones. Absolutely. Um, NASA Langley, along with NASA Wallops, um, have done some missions down off of Africa using a, a UAV to look at hurricane formation, to look at hurricane tracking. Um, those are very important. After um, Joaquin, which came, was coming up the coast and Virginia skirted um, a, a catastrophe miraculously. Um, but we had looked at using UAVs um, after the fact to look at damage to the coastline, potentially looking for victims that may have been impacted. And so for us being a coastal um, you know, community, it, it has special meaning for us in the humanitarian side when we, we, when we do have flooding situations or otherwise. We also have large ports so the ability to use unmanned systems to protect those ports is another big benefit for Critically Hampton Roads. important. What advice would you give a young person considering a career in technology? Oh, wow. Um, I wish I was a young person now because the job opportunities are so huge. Um, all I can say is don't be timid and don't be daunted. Um, pick something that you love. I, mean, I think we all, as adults now, look back and say, you know, we, we really want to have a job that we love, not just a job that we have. And so... The whole arena in technology is so broad. We're training kids right now for jobs that don't currently exist. Learn how, how to exciting. learn. I know. <laughs> learn how to learn and don't be daunted. Don't say, I can't. Try things. Be willing to take the risk. Be willing to jump in. We're trying to instill this in our, in our kids as early as possible in the K through 12 pipeline um, because we don't want, especially women. Um, women and minorities and technologies are, are rare commodities. And so we're really working hard to instill in them the confidence to, to be able to t undertake anything that they think they're interested in. And so all I say is don't be shy and, and give it a try. Go for it. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Secretary Jackson, so much for being here with us today. It was wonderful to have you. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. When we return, our nation's youngest children are at risk of becoming obese. Childhood Obesity Prevention is an organization dedicated to bringing awareness of this issue to our communities. Find out about their efforts when we come back with more Cox Connections.